Oh, what a balm for the weary. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's the blessed hour of prayer where we firmly believe all that we ask for, you surely, we surely shall receive. Eternal God on our Father, it's another Tuesday night where we're here, God, with our ears inclined to hear from you. We thank you for the opportunity, God, that we can make our wrongs right. So your man's servant is in the hollow of your hand. Why don't you search him, try him, and prove him? If he is indeed yours, wash him with isop so he can be clean. Speak through him, speak for him, God. But most importantly, let your words go with power, with light. And God, may it never return unto you void. It must accomplish as you say your word. So we thank you for the hearers, God. May we not only be hearers, but doers of your word as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. The wee wee. Oh, sweet to be there. Greetings to all the saints of the members of the body of Christ. One more time, we want to greet you in the exalted name, Christ Jesus our Savior and our Lord. This is another night of Bible study and I want to salute all the members of the body of Christ, all our e-members, friends that are tuned into Gospel Way. This is your host, Pastor Boris, as we are getting into the Word. Thank you, Ambassador, for the prayer as we go to the book of Mark, chapter 5, and we are still, see if we could sift through the scripture and exegesis of some gems that could spiritually edify us and give us spiritual maturity that when the wind of doctrine come and the itching ears of heresy we have what it take to be rooted and grounded and strong to grasp what is the breadth and the length and the height and the love of God that transcendent all knowledge and all wisdom and our faculty of reason and ability that you may able to comprehend the truth of the gospel of the conciliation that God was in Christ Jesus conciliating the world and to himself did not reckon our offenses but he laid the charges upon his only begotten son the son of his dear love which is the Messiah the anointed one which is Christ Jesus Somebody should praise the Lord for Amen. that. Amen. And so we got to look at this subject tonight one more time as we are trying to find through what dwells within you. Mm. What dwells within you. Amen. The indwelling. What dwells within you. Yes. And so Mark 5 and I want to sieve through it as best as possible as the Holy Spirit will lead. And it read like this from the King James Version. And they came over unto the other side of the sea. In other words, they leave from one side, whether it's from the west to the east, or from the east to the west, or from the north to the south, they leave from one side to another side of the sea into the country of gather rains. This is what Mark wrote in chapter 5 verse 1. And verse 2 says, And when he was come out of the ship, something happened immediately immediately there met him and um, some theologians said it was we hours of the morning because if we go back into chapter 4 we see that they journey in the night to come across and some say it was we hours in the morning between 4 3 30 4 o'clock there about I don't no, but the Bible says in verse 2 and when he was come out of the ship immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit this suggests that this man 
was fully loaded with an clean spirit. Amen. Here goes verse 4. The Bible says, verse 3, the Bible says, Who had his dwelling? Remember, we are talking on what dwells within you. Are the indwelling spirit. You define it. Who has his dwelling among the tomb? Yes. In other words, he lives in the tomb. His residence is in the tomb. His hiding place is in the tomb. And no man could bind him. No, not with shame. Mm, this man environment is the tomb. Yes. The graveyard. The cemetery. Yes. And so he lived there. Mm. He occupied that spot. Yes. He controlled that zoning. Mm. He in charge of that area. Yes. If you doubt me, look what happened. Who had his dwelling? Dwelling means that's where you abode. That's where you rest. That's where you reside. Yes. Among the tombs. Amen. His residence is among the tombs. Yes. The tomb was his abandoned. Not even the dead more times scared to stay at the tomb. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding you with that one. But this man was his abode was among the two. Yes. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chain. Mm -hmm. In other words, family members, law abiding people, law enforcement yes. tried to bound him with fetters and chain. Yes. Uh -huh. And the chain had been plucked asunder. In other words, he broke the chain. Lay it clear, all hopes to bring this maniac and control young man or middle age, whatever his age was, under control was fruitile. He could not be controlled. He was fully possessed. He was fully loaded with indwelling of demon and clean spirit. Hear what Mark says. He plugged or break asunder by him. Break the chain, break the fetters, broke them in pieces. Mm. Neither could any man tame him. Yes. Nobody could friend him, subdue him, speak to him. Calm him down. Mm. Let's behave yourself. Man. No. Oh wow, wow, wow. Because of what dwells Amen. within him. Mm. That unclean spirit yes. is raging. Mm. And so he could not be tamed. Yes. And when we look on the word tame from the Greek text. It render damazo, damazo. Nobody could subdue him, bring him under subjection. In other words, nobody could arrest him. Yes. No police, no soldier. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Could not bring him under control and so this unclean spirit that dwells in this man look carefully what happened look carefully the bible say and always and always night and day 
he was in the mountain and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stone. The mountain was his pillar. Mm. The stone was his machete. Yes. I don't know if he used it to stone even tried to shave. I don't know what he was cutting himself with the stone for. But it was crying. His mental faculty has been deranged. He was into a total depravity, uncontrollable, battered and bruised, tasked with this indwelling unclean spirit. Amen. That indwelling unclean spirit caused him to cut himself. Yeah. Hallelujah. He does not feel those cuts with those stones because he was fully under the influence of the demonic spirit that dwells within him. Amen. He had no escape route. I believe his own family abandoned him yes. because of his treacherous demonic operation. His dwelling is among the tomb, the cemetery, the graveyard. But I have news flash for you. Verse 6 give us some spiritual edification. Some spiritual edification. Listen what verse 6 says. But when he saw Jesus afar, Oh, he ran and worshipped him. Yes. What? He ran. Yes. Let me say this to your friends, brethren, e members, listeners. Demons and clean spirit yes. can see afar off. They see yes. Jesus afar off. The Bible yeah. said it, it's not me. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran. Yes. And prosconio, which is the Greek word for worship, he bowed down. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. He kneeled before his maker. Watch what happened. As he kneeled before his work, his maker, which is Christ Jesus. Number one, we look on the point of matter. Number one, we see reverent. The unclean spirit that dwells within the man. Yes. No Christ yes. is not the man. No Christ is the demon's unclean spirit that inside of the man yes. cause him to run and kneel down. Reverence. Note the word reverence. It's the pick profound respect. It the pick profound regards. Reverent respect regard. When one kneel down before Christ, it demonstrates high regard and high reverence attitude toward the almighty God. Amen. Look in the scripture. When he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Amen. Watch what he says and cried with a loud voice. Yes. In other words, if you're going in took the Greek or the Hebrew text, he using these unclean spirit that dwells within the man, using what you call a zamar, making noise. The Bible said with a loud voice, what 
did these unclean spirit says and said what have I to do with thee note Jesus thou son of the most I God we could preach for 10 years right here so notice the respect and the regard and the reverence that they pick out of this young man mouth through what the demon is saying the demon was speaking through him. Yes. He says here, they demonstrate what they call attitude of worship, attitude of respect, attitude of regard, attitude of reverence to the most high God. Note, they cannot worship God without they come to Christ. Amen. Look what the Bible says. They say, what have I to do with thee? Jesus. In other words, they're saying the Messiah, the anointed one. What have I to do with you, the anointed one? Yes. Why are you come here now? And this also, my brothers and sisters, express the gratitude to the King of Kings as they kneel down in reverence with godly fear. They acknowledge the Christ. Watch the word. Number one, they acknowledge whatever your command is, we say we worship you. Yes. We bow down before you. Mm -hmm. We reverence you. Sit right here. They cried with a loud voice, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? They announce who they bow down. To worship. This express that they regard Christ as a son of the most high God. That is a praise in the house. Uh, and clean spirit mm. of the high regard yeah. for the Messiah, Amen. Christ, the anointed one. Oh yes, they declare it. Lord, they are declaring. They show reverence for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. They serve him right there and then because prosconia means worship, Amen. adoration, yes. praise, thanksgiving. Demons honor Christ. Amen. And you are in your right mind and fail to honor the most high God, God, Christ God. Jesus. The Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. As we could come nearer, we find that reverence demonstrate the transformation yes. in mankind life. There must be a transformation take place right here. Amen. Because this man will never be the same any longer because he met the anointed one. He met the Messiah. He met the life giver. He met the high hope now. He met the source, a fountain for life, breath, and intelligence. He met the resurrector. He met the peacemaker. He met the healer, the bomb in Gilead. He met him right there and then. Reverence the pick. That your life will transform. Yeah. Now you will be no longer the old rugged man. Hallelujah. The old dead flesh. Yeah. Battered and bruised. By the unclean spirit. Mm. Look in the Bible. The yeah. unclean spirit bow before Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I said the man was just a vehicle. Oh, for the hallelujah. demons to run to worship. Amen. Mm. This would change the entire man's life. Yes. Because Christ is in charge right here. So. Mm. Christ is in command yes. right here. He yes. is the chief yes. universal mm. commander and chief. Yes. The Lord, the Lord. 
notice here. They confess here. Look, what have I to do with thee? Jesus, thou son, the God from heaven, of the most high God. Remember blind Bartimaeus, blind Bartimaeus, get his sight. He cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon it. Demons and clean spirit is crying out yeah. to the most high here. Watch what they says here as we fine tune this. The demons understand. Do you hear what I says? The demons understand. Yeah. They come upon the chief of the universe yes. the commander of the universe yes. the art and finisher the maker of all things yes. the one who made us yes. we are demons but I know you I know you the son of the most high God hallelujah this says this says this says I adjure thee the young the man is speaking but is a demon speaking through the man don't forget that i adjure you by god notice now by god yes the all the supreme subjector mm. the ruler the controller and christ is the head of everything amen so when they speak about god christ now control that voice yes. this says I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. In other words, the demon is saying through the man, we are comfortable in this dwelling vessel. Yes. And we, we don't come torment us, Christ. We don't trouble us. We are okay in mm. this temple, in this man yes. vessel. Yes, yes, yes. Oops. Can I give you two shots here? When I just two shots is from the word of God. Note. The man problem is about to solve. Mm. The man is about to be delivered from the jurisdiction of the legions yes. of the unclean spirit. My God. He's about to be released. Shakura mm. He's about to set free. Yes. And before he could set free, Paul wrote something in the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 10 and 11. He said that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. And of things in heaven, Things in earth and things under the earth. Yes. And that every tongue, oh my God, should confess that Jesus Christ yes. Lord. is Lord. Amen. Notice Amen. here, church friends, members, hearers, listeners, to the glory of God yes. the Father. Look into the word what happened here the unclean spirit speak through the man yes and it says what have i to do with thee jesus thou son of the most i god most i god meaning that this god that they highly reverent respect and regard is above all the gods of the nations are idol even the god of this eon which is the adversary not, not even respect and regard for their commander which is the adversary because the adversary too has to respect the son of the most high god Satan demonstrate bowing right here, so mm. because the unclean spirit, which is 
Satan leading them, they kneel when they met their maker. When they meet the Messiah. When they meet the creator. When they meet upon Jesus. They says here, the Bible is speaking. They make a request. I adore thee by God. Notice here now. Because we see it here in Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 and 11. Look what it says. Every tongue Every tongue, every mouth, every knee, knock knee, fix knee, drop knee, whatever knee it is, must bow. And this demon is showing you and high, even in the coming age to come, when every knee shall bow. Amen. I don't care what tightly you hold, you must bow. Amen. And look when they bow, look when they bow, they says, the Bible says, you must confess yes. that Jesus Christ is Lord. And to who the glory is going to? Because they say it here. I adjure thee by God. Amen. And look to the glory of God the Father. Yes. The glory of God the Papa. Yes. I just use the Hebrew term Papa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Papa. My, 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 my. They, 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 they are requesting to Jesus that thou torment me not. Yes. They did not say torment us because the young man, eh, they are speaking through the young man. Yes. So the young man said torment me not. Did you see that? Torment me not. I'm okay, Jesus. I'm fully okay. Because the unclean spirit must dwell somewhere. Mm -hmm. What dwells inside of you? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit are the unclean spirit. Oh, are a unclean spirit. Oh, yes. The demons has a discussion with their maker. And the discussion is they make a request. The request is, the request is, torment us not. And as we fine tune this some more, we find something drastic happen here. In verse 8 of the scripture, the Bible says, yes. Jesus, for he said unto him, notice, Jesus make an answer. He listened to the unclean spirit that's speaking through the man. And he answered. For he said unto him. Come out of the man. Man they shall have. Thou unclean spirit. Go back, go, back, go back here to verse 2. Verse 2 of the same chapter 5. Go look in verse 2 now. We're doing what you call a reversal. A reversal. A reversal. So we reverse and say, And when he come out of the ship, the journey, he arrived. And he landed. And as he come out of the ship, immediately, instantaneously, there met him out of the tomb. A man with an unclean spirit. The tomb, a man. A unclean spirit. <laughs> a unclean spirit. So we see that this unclean spirit now stood before its maker. And its maker declared and decreed Remember, I say the reverence Christ, worship Christ, honor Christ. Amen. 
and they take God at its command. Look good. For he said unto him, Come out of the man. Thou unclean spirit. Notice Jesus did not seem to know wrestling and back and forth and um, speaking no tongue and speaking no nothing uh, because Christ is a maker of those demons. Amen. Is the commanding chief of the head of the entire universe. Yes. Amen. Christ is in control of yes. all of these legion demon, whatever their name My is. God. Look now as we look and the request of the unclean spirit. Notice. Jesus now asks a question. And he asks him, What is, his name? is thy... I want to look in the context. What is thy name? What is thy name? In our word, you must have a name. Remember, the man is not even his, the man who is just a voice box. Jesus know who he is speaking to because is is it the unclean spirit is speaking to the man, and so Christ is asking the unclean spirit, "What is thy name?" Amen. It's right here. And he answered. He answered. Mm. When the question asks, the said man answered. But it's not him. Is rendezvous satire? Is not him giving the answer? The answer is coming from the unclean spirit through the man. You told you. I asked your question. Tell me which man would be in his right mind or, or, or have the Holy Spirit dwells within him. Remember I said the Holy Spirit dwells in him and would take stone cutting himself. Cutting himself. You tell me which man would be in their right mind do that. And so the scripture says and he answered, saying, My name, my name is Legion. I want you to get deep in here, right? Right in that verse, which is verse 9 of Mark 5. Look good. They themselves are the voice to the man gave the answer. For we are many. And the word legion suggests a Roman language which would stress the numerical number of 6,000 unclean spirit dwells in the man. Mm. 6,000 unclean spirit dwells in this man. Wow. The scripture is very clear here. When you check the Romanic title of a legion, this consists of 6,000 military demon and clean spirit dwells in this man this is a metaphorical but the evidence is clear here as we go deeper into this scripture look good and he asked him what is thy name and he answered saying my name is legion for we are how much we are how much we are many in other words, it did not count in 
in numerical number but by theologian expertise uh, give the meaning of legions uh-huh and he besought now here comes the request he begged of jesus he begged that the master he begged that the messiah he begged that the anointed one don't you send us out of this country he said and he besought him much much watch the word much in other words, our requests and we beseech you we beg of you look good that he would not send them away out of the country and because the country is so polluted with lawlessness recklessness carelessness wantonness or last viciousness and all of the above these demons, these legions, oh, this unclean spirit want to stay in that country. Yes, 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 yes. Because the country of Gadarian mm. is so polluted yeah. that legions and demons and unclean spirit dwells there. Yeah. That's the norm of that zoning. Oh, hallelujah. It is evidence here. Yeah. And the Bible, the Bible says. The Bible says they besought him. Their request is let us stay in Galilee. Let us stay in this country. Yes. Don't evict us. Hear me, Master. Hear me. Hear me now, Master. The, the request you, you can evict because they get the command already. Don't miss this. They get the command already from verse 8. But they are making the request in verse 9 and verse 10. They make their request, say, don't send us out of the country. Don't, 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 don't move us. Well, our name is Legion, so we are many. And we besought you in verse 10, much that you would not, you, that he would not. We beg you that he would not send us out of the country. Keep us in the country. I will come out of the man. Hallelujah. But let us stay in the country. Where are you going to stay now? That's my humanistic question. Let's look good. Let's look good. Now, hear, 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 hear their request and they, they want an answer now. Now there was their nigh unto the mountain a great herd of swine feeding. In other words, upon the height. Because in this portion of scripture here, in verse 5, take a look in verse 5, my friends and my brothers and my sister and he members, uh -huh. take a look. And if you're just joining us, uh, the indwelling, what dwells it in you? Yeah, either you have in the Holy Spirit or the spirit of stubbornness, some spirit must in control of you. Amen. Don't miss that one. It must be either the holy spirit are a unclean spirit are a spirit of stubbornness all right back to the bible hear me go when you look in verse five notice what the scripture said and always nigh and day night and day he was in the mountain and look back in verse 11 now there was there nigh unto the mountain a great herd of swine feeding. Hear what happened. The swine, they were up into the mountain, or up on a height, feeding. And as their requests be sought, hear what happened. And all the devils besought him, saying, Did you see that? Look in the scripture. Look in the word of God. Look, context upon context, pretext upon pretext, suffix upon suffix. And all the devils, D-E-V-I-L-S, devils. And all the devils, move the D and see all the evils besought him their request to the anointed one, the Messiah. Yes. Jesus, thou son of the most high. Mm. Our request is 
send us into the swine. My gosh. That we may enter into them. Listen this. Be ye careful. Demon can enter into you. The scriptures say that we can. Listen again. We can. See the word is giving you the answer. We may enter into them. The unclean spirit was not one. Was not two. The Bible said it was many. Yes. And therefore in the context of verse 12 that we may enter into them what yes their request yes. has been granted by the anointed one the messiah which is Christ Jesus. Now, I want you to get deep now in some theology, right? In some uh, hermeneutics, in some soteriology, in mm -hmm. some Christology, in some pneumatology, in eschatology, and all of the allergy that you can think of. Get into it. No, in, 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 in bibliology, the Jews have nothing to deal with swine. Yes. Swine. In an abomination against the law and ordinances yeah. of the Jewish religion. Yes. So you notice where the pig were up in the mountain. It means it's some maybe some half Jew, half uh, yeah, whatever it was. <laughs> whatever it was, keeping their pig pen. Don't forget the young man that leave his daddy house and went off to a far country. And if I don't know how far the country was, but somehow that young man was a Jew. And when he come to himself and find out that he was in the pig pen, that even the pig is saying, ha, 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 go home, go home, what are you doing in the pen? Oh Notice that Jesus made the request and answered them. I wonder why Jesus answered them and sent them into the pig, because the pig is an abomination. These big. Yes. <laughs> Praise of Lord, our pastor, Amen. don't get so Amen. hard. And all the devils besought him. The devils besought him. Yes. Saying, send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And foot with, foot with, in other words, immediately. So we go right back here. Right here, right here. As he came out of the ship in verse 2, immediately they met him out of the tomb, my unclean spirit. Unclean. So they get immediately discharged. Yes. Immediately they get out. Because they, they, they make a request to the Messiah. Say, we are willing to come out of the man. Yes. But send us somewhere. And our request is some pigs yes. is up into that zoning. They love mountain because see it here again. And always night and day he was in the mountain. Verse 5. In the mountain. They, these, these legion, these demons, these unclean spirits love the mountain. When you're up in the mountain you can see. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. Gave them the authority. Gave them the go ahead. Note carefully here. And the unclean spirit went out. Went out. Yes. Because the command in verse chapter with Jesus in verse 8. The command. Notice the word Jesus says. Verse 8. Run it and make it tight up. And we are almost about to land. For he said unto him. Come out. Of the man thou unclean spirit. That's a command. And they obey the command. It's a must. Once Jesus speak the word. It's done deal. Nothing. Nothing else can question it. 
it's done. All they're asking their maker, the Messiah, send us into the pigs. Amen. Look in your Bible. And the request was met. And the unclean spirit, listen carefully in verse 13, went out and enter into the swine and the herd ran violently that's why the young man was so violently he was kill his mama his papa his brother he don't care who he kill he don't care what chain you're buying him he's violently he tore it to pieces violently Amen. he was so violently yeah. These and look what the Bible said, and the herd run violently. Even the pig get boisterous. Yes. Oh, the herds of pig get boister and run violently down into a place into the sea. Uh huh. I want to get deep now. Look in your word. Look in the Bible and listen what the Bible said. They were about. Two thousand. Yes. About how much? Two thousand. Because the answer is right here. For we are many. And if the two thousand pigs ran violently down into the sea into the water wherever according to theologian expertise legions is a numerical number of the Roman soldier net which is 6,000 so 6,000 demons did lodge in one man Divide up this. Don't ask me how much demon run into one of the pigs. But it was 6,000. And the Bible says it was 2,000. And were choked in the sea. In other words, they died. Let me blow your trumpet loud and clear. The demons, they did not die. Mm. The pigs died. Yes. But the demons, they are somewhere large. Don't ask me where they went to large because they asked to go into somewhere. The pigs drowned. But remember their request to the Messiah. Don't send us out of the country. So into that mountain. Let give you some typology. Birds. Wild beasts. Whatever it is. They lodge somewhere into some body. Yes. Into some temple. I mean some terrestrial flesh. Yes. Maybe in a, some of the fish in a, the sea. Amen. Because demons must lodge into something, even into a fly. Yes. A bird, a cat, a rat, whatever. A demons. Yes. Let's go, my friend, my brother, my sister, my E members, don't play with demons. You need the Holy Spirit to counteract unclean spirit. Amen. Unclean spirit carry a foul holder. Because the Bible says it's unclean, it's dirty. Yes. And whatever is dirty, it's unclean. Why you think some of these young men is so violent, so hostile, so bitter? I read the news often. 
And when I look in the news and see this young 17-year-old miss have a two-month-old baby, and according to the news, the young man has, according to law enforcement, the baby daddy killed her. It's a spirit mm. that driven that young man to kill. Yes. And another family member attached to it. He too that demons connect him into the same realms. My God. The demons is a murderer of demons. That lodging that young man. You and I as to give thanks. Amen. According to the scripture. Yes. From the book of Colossians. That we have to say, thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. Who has rescued us. Yes. The word rescue means drag from, pull from, danger. Rescue us from the jurisdiction, in other words, under the auspices of unclean spirit, pantheonic spirit, demonic spirit, witchcraft spirit, hoodoo spirit, you do spirit. Some dangerous spirit is manifested in the global atmosphere. Amen. And good God from Zion is only the church is detaining these demons. Amen. Have you blinded that you not see? It manifests itself. In the most ugliest way. Lawless and reckless. Mean deceptive spirit. I submit to you tonight. If you are under such a delusion. And under such a systematized deception. Your best bet. Is right here. Look good. And he ran. But when he saw Jesus. Verse 6, every believer, every unseen should read this. And when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped. Honor and respect the maker. Amen. You and I that are called out by God, we should give him the praise Amen. for rescuing us. Hallelujah. That we are, we possess. Mm. We are possessed. Yes. The Holy Spirit. Amen. If you are not saved, you must possess the spirit of stubbornness. My God. Because the spirit must live within something. Yes. May the God of heaven bless you this night. As we seek the face of our Lord Jesus right mm. now, wherever you is, wherever, wherever, every head's bow, every eyes close, the heavenly Father watches over you. Father, yes. we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For your word. We thank, thank you, you Jesus. God. Thank you. That you have delivered Hallelujah. us oh, glory to God. from thank the you. pestilence. Hallelujah. The nice some pestilence. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Deliver us. Yes, from the jurisdiction mm. of the power yes, of God. God. Lord, Jesus. we bow down before you even yes, now. Lord. We proscone mm. us hey, before you. Hallelujah. We kneel Thank before Jesus. you. Yes, Lord. And we shabak you. Thank you, Lord. Thank we told her praise you. you. We tell it to praise Thank you. you yes. We zamar oh, praise hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We pray for our brothers and sisters who yes, might Jesus. not yet come to the knowledge. Mm. To know Christ yes. Jesus. I pray that the Holy oh, Spirit will summon and God reach somebody God. tonight and deliver such a brother and such My a sister God. from the jurisdiction mm. of the darkness. Yes, Jesus. We rebuke that unclean spirit from mm. that young man, that young woman, that middle age, that old age. We command you, demon, get out now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Set Hallelujah. somebody free My now, God. Lord. Hallelujah. Hey. Deliver Hallelujah. somebody. We thank you for deliver such a person. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hear me, my mm. friend. If you so be kind, go and make your comment. Make prayer requests. Make your request be made known unto God. Yes. Even this night. My God. 
And if your heart so desire to bless this ministry mm. with an offering, yes, go and cash up. Yes, one word, dollar sign. Mm. Hallelujah. My God. In the name of Jesus. Mm. One young miss. And let me just share this quick. Thirty second. I sent in a. Let me call a number. Please don't feel bad now. A three dollar for her gift. Yes. And I'm gonna pray for that young miss in a mm, special name. Father, in the name of Mande Kosha Kalarabashada, in the name of Jesus, I lift up this tree, Dala, as a mm. sacrifice yes, for this young miss. Mm. Oh, you know her name, Lord, Jesus. and you know wherever she is yes, now. Lord. And I pray yes. that the Holy Spirit will walk mm. in to that bedroom, yes, to yes. that room, and lay your hands upon her now. Oh, and yes. healing yes. virtue mm. will penetrate to her body yes, and you will heal her body mm. rise and heal my daughter mm. in the name, name of, of Yahweh Jesus. Elohim Hallelujah. I submit and commit her to you now yes, mighty in God. Jesus name Amen. Amen. God bless you my sister and if you are listening tonight your offering that you give it mm. is before the most high God yes. and if you so hear this word tonight you are being blessed Amen. give God the praise give God an offering you are Dollar sign, it's not nothing to God, it all is the lambs to the pattern. God bless you this evening, and the peace of God be with you, and the grace of God be with you in Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen.